Welcome back to the PlayStation Sports Project where it's all sports all the time. Look at all these sports games. With a couple lifespan ones in for good measure. Only one game that looks really good in here and my luck's probably not that good. I avoid the sports, but I get the lifespan garbage. Gasmania Trail of Gems, here we come. Alright, next up we have none other than, well, you just saw it, another Lightspan game. We'll be playing Casmania Trail of Gems, and then we will follow that up with the second one in the series, Casmania Chaos in Casmania. Unfortunately, this is not Tasmania, which would probably be a lot more fun. But. One day we will be done with all these lifespan games, but today is not that day! What? Okay? I have to practice? If I have to practice a lifespan game, this is gonna be a long video! Stand your credits? Is this seriously gonna load every time? Really? Okay. Press the X button to confirm. Press the X button to confirm. Huh. What? If you press any other button, it will not let you go back in, so... I guess we're playing, cause... I don't trust anything else here. This is not going to be long, I can't imagine. As weird as this looks. As our story begins! Argopolis! Full of... Full of witty... Anime protagonists. Which would be a lot more fun to play as, as opposed to this. Oh, I had to press the X button. Look, supreme food! Oh no, they've stolen all of the words! Can you believe this? They're gone! Every letter, every word, and every book! This is really quiet. Ma'am, you've got to help! Hmm, this is a complex conundrum. Keep your head on! Don't worry, we're gonna find out who perpetrated this puzzle. Kazam! The first clue. A violet crystal. No you have no nose. Perplexing. Any notions where a crystal such as this might call home? No? Oh my god, Th this is an abomination. Wait a minute. I know where to get the information on this charming crystal. Let's power up the kiosk. I hope this actually comes through because I'm not replaying this. Violet crystal. Beautiful floor. You see it too. We're off to the gym exhibit. Alright, let's hop to it. Oh, you go on ahead of us. We'll be right behind you. I don't know if I trust you being behind me. Let's see what madness this game is. Entering Argopolis, Zone 1. Oh, well, now it got louder. And that's the map. Watch this out! Is... The Inca Raiders are nearby. <sighs> oh my god, this is a dungeon crawl. This is a crappy Doom clone? Okay, I was not Don't expecting give up. that. Next time, use your Illuminator on the Incarator. Illuminator on the Incarator, and then we can be a procrastinator. And uh, after I'm done, I'm gonna be hungry and have some lunch. I'm gonna be a masticator. 
Uh... Search for the kiosks. They'll give you power. Oh boy. Boy, I can get around this thing in my way. Am I in a Bethesda game? I gotta get past this thing in my way. Here we Use are. Use your illuminator to activate this kiosk. Oh, there we go. Stop loading on you every single thing. All questions before you may leave a kiosk. Story highlights. Highlight the main idea or supporting detail for each. Story highlights. Highlight the correct answer for each of the ten questions in this kiosk. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot this was an educational game. Oh boy! You had to have another loading screen for that. This is not Sonic 06. Anyway. I learned a detail that tells you Grammy always loads books. Uh, 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 uh. Grammy that never threw a book away, did she? Okay, so this is a little more advanced, I imagine, this was meant for. While some of the other ones we played were probably meant for little kids, this is probably meant for slightly older ones. You know, it's more about reading comprehension rather than grammar and punctuation. They let the deed deal their best shows at Craig. He believes he is about to solve the mystery. Greg's fingers trembled with excitement as he picked up the little dresser. God, that sounded wrong. <laughs> they look details to tell you Gramps has changed. Gramps wasn't wearing a red sweater or munching peanut brittle? Oh well, we, we got a problem Gramps here. Gramps wasn't wearing his shaggy red sweater or munching peanut brittle, and he was talking to her for the first time in five months. I like the details to tell you Fussy Philomena has to- Fussy Philomena was so fussy. How fussy was she? The main idea to perceive. It's the message that the author wants you to receive. Oh god, I don't care. Highlight them. Well, she opened a hat box and finally, wow! I, I I've seen this in a couple of these lifespan games so far where the controls are bad, and you're like, how could the controls be bad for a game where you just have to go up and down to? Click on letters and sentences and words. Somehow they managed to pull that off. Uh. There. I don't care, I'm done. There. Try. You have one more try at th There we go. Let's do something. Let's shoot more of these things and then we'll call it because I'm already tired of this. There are four kiosks left in this zone. Oh my god, there are four. Yeah, you got the thing. That's what really matters. Don't give up. Next time use your illuminator on the Incorator. So, <laughs> you know, just kill me, please. They're not even hurting me. 
Don't give up. Next time, use your Illuminator on the Incorator. <sighs> okay, now what? Wow. Those are graphics. Now let's check one more kiosk really quick and I guess this is the entire game so we'll move on to the other one. Fast forward through the loading screen. Anita Borgo. I think they're using the same three... There we go. You have to wait for them to feel like moving on. Loser and Gramps by Anita Borgo. Gramps never ate chocolates with fillings because he never knew what was inside. That's, that's part of the fun. He never spoke to his new neighbor, Mrs. McMoody, because he never knew what she might say. He never took his walk at different times in the afternoon because he never knew what he might see. Gramps didn't like new and surprising, he liked all that is expected. AKA, most grandparents. <laughs> I don't, I don't like change. That's why he didn't like it when a strange curly tailed brown dog slept on his front porch. Which is... You're blocking my way. <coughs> oh. We won't go out the back door, but he'll use that on Wednesday. And today was Tuesday. Oh, well, excuse me. Ah, Words, 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 words. Okay. Yeah, this is just story time, I guess. Let's play the other one. And now for part two. Casmania chaos in Casmania because we didn't have enough chaos with those apparently incorator things. Please tell me there's gonna be less loading this time because you can't load up stuff, say one sentence, and then go back to a loading screen again. That's just bad. Use this screen to adjust the volume of sounds in these. Thanks. I'm good. Let's just jump right in. Casmania 2! Casmania Boogaloo! Meanwhile, in the city of Casmania. The FMV graphics are actually pretty cool, especially for the time. It's just everything else is so stupid. <laughs> Carpathia, when we last saw Mem. I love this film. This story isn't over yet. To be continued. Short and straight to the point. Many months later. Good eye point. Looks like an escape route ahead. I wonder what vile villainy Nevada is up to now. Let's check in with Octavia, the finest poet in all of Casmania. They went from everything loading to pushing through as fast as possible. <laughs> I stole all the print, but they are still reading at the kiosk. This must stop immediately. Lock up every kiosk. Reading is forbidden. And to top it up, I'll build a secret incurator factory to make thousands, <laughs> no, millions of incurators to enforce my rule over all of Tasmania. <laughs> T 
Octavio, I knew it. Hmm. I think Octavio's hideout is right around here. Mim! Cool serendipity! You've escaped! Octavio, quick, let us in! You as welcome as fire in the deep of winter. Relentless! Divider forbid reading! Sent his incarators from kiosk to kiosk, locking them up. I created a luminator strong enough to transform incarators back into books and open the kiosk, filling them with poetry to free the mind and ignite the imagination. But Divada's got a secret factory hidden away to turn out hundreds of incarators every day to undo all that I've done. I had lost hope till you turned up at my door. It's time for action. We'll open the kiosk and find that felonious factory. To the train. Woo-woo! Incarators have been spotted by the ice cave. Doom machine. We'll start there. Onward. There better not be any ice physics. Well, I'm really liking this better than the other one, but let's see what the actual gameplay entails. A collection of kiosks. We should check them out. Never mind, it's just a point and click game. Oh, now it's a uh, rail shooter? And oh my god, those bullets are slow. How are you supposed to kill anything when they're. Wow. We did it. We've conquered the Read the poems and answer the questions to unlock the kiosk. Yeah. Canyon is a neat place to live, but I myself prefer the top of a hill. Think of places you... Click to select the correct words or lines, then click OK. I think the canyon is kind of probably this. Oh boy, we did it! Next! Read the poem, then click the book to close it. Actually, I think I'm done. These games are very, uh... I, I actually kind of like the concept. At least they're trying to make them a little more, you know, game-ish. And the FOVs are actually halfway decent, but... It gets... Try to really fast, you have to keep stopping and stopping and stopping. Like, okay, now we have to wait for this and wait for that and that. I know, especially in the early PS1 days, you kind of had to deal with that, but... <sighs> click the correct answer and then click OK. How about to no? read the poem, click the poem book. I think we're done here. Thanks for watching, I will see you at a better non-lightspan game.